Hey there, guys. So, if you're like me, you probably have a flagpole in your yard, like to display the flag. And uh, there's some decisions to make when you go to purchase one, namely the material that it's made of. So I thought that I would give you some, uh, some of my own experience here with a couple of these different uh, flags that you can buy commonly online. So let me uh, get situated here. I wanna show you something. Let me let this down just a little bit more. Trying not to let it touch the ground, obviously, but I wanna be able to hold it out here and show you what I'm wanting to show you. So this flag is a polyester flag, and you can see that it's faded, but I have left this flag out on the pole for a full year on purpose because I wanted to be able to do a one year update or kind of show you what the flag looks like after it's been on the pole for 12 months. So, you know, there's three main materials that you're gonna find these US flags manufactured in, cotton, polyester, and nylon. And uh, for your outdoor flags, mostly you're going to see polyester and nylon. And normally I run the nylon flags. I like to fly the nylon flags because the material, the fabric, uh, really lights up in the sunlight, especially when the sun is shining through. You know, especially up there, the Union will really glow in the sunlight on a good, brand new, crisp nylon flag. So I like the nylon. But the problem with the nylon flags is they don't seem to uh, hold up very well in the wind. So I thought that I would try a polyester flag this year and see if they really do hold up better. And um, like I said, that's the reason why, you know, this, this flag's faded because it's been on the pole for a year, but I'm doing this for, uh, for science. <laughs> so, so you can see up here, maybe the camera's showing it, there is a rip up here between the union and the top stripe. And that was actually just a manufacturing defect. That did not happen in the wind. It was unfortunately like that out of the box. Most of them are not going to look like this, obviously, but this particular one had an issue right out of the box. But other than that, you can see even the ends are not frayed. Hopefully you can see that there's no fraying at all in the fabric. And uh, the fabric is holding up great. So in terms of just how well these flags hold up, the polyester one, it really has done a great job. Now, usually when I fly a nylon flag, I will only get about six months out of it. And what happens is the ends here really start to fray pretty bad. So yeah, the nylon flags will get to where the ends, where they're stitched here on the ends, it'll start coming apart. The stripes will start coming apart. Um, and then eventually the entire flag will decay. Um, so the fabric on the nylon ones, you know, typically I get about six months out of it. This is what the polyester one looks like at 12 months, and it is pretty much flawless. Now, as far as the color goes, I don't see any difference. This one is faded. And really, it started to look like this between six and eight months. You know, it started to look like this. You know, it's getting a little bit worse, obviously, as time goes on. But I started to notice that the color was uh, fading out at about six to eight months. And that's what I see on the nylon flags as well. Like I said, I get about six months out of them. They're faded. They're torn at that point, and I have to put a new one up. Um, but that's mainly going to be the difference. The polyester really has held up a lot better. And I'm kind of surprised. We've had some days where the wind gusts have been in the 40s and 50s uh, miles per hour. Um, you know, a typical windy day here in Kentucky will be sustained winds of 25 or 30 miles an hour with gusts in the 40s, maybe 50 miles an hour. That's what we consider to be a really windy day around here. There's places in the country where that's baby food. You guys get a lot more wind than we do. There's also places in the country where you don't get that much wind. So, you know, maybe we're kind of in the middle. I don't know, kind of average. But uh, we do have some really windy days. Today is not one of them, obviously, which is why I chose to do this video today. Um, but in the wind, 
the brutal sun all summer long this year. Uh, this flag went through snow and ice. I fly it 24 seven. Back here behind me, I do have a spotlight that shines up on it. So I fly this flag 24 seven. It's been through snow, it's been through an ice storm, lots of severe thunderstorms, windy days, sunny days. Uh, you name it, this flag has been through it for 12 months and it's holding up great as you can see, other than the color. If they could figure out some way to make, to make the color stay in the fabric longer, man, wouldn't that be awesome? So I just thought I wanted to do this video because I know there's a lot of people like me who you're shopping, you're looking at uh, maybe Amazon or some other vendor and you're looking at all these flags. You've got nylon, you've got polyester, you got, you know, maybe a couple other choices, but typically your polyester and nylon are gonna be it. And uh, you see that the polyester flags are more expensive. They do cost more. And you're like, is it worth it? Well, I think it is worth it because I've gotten twice the amount of time out of this flag than I would have gotten out of a nylon one the same size. And, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that it's faded, I could fly this flag for longer because, like I said, the fabric's holding up great. I guess I could not be lazy and take it down and sew that up up there at the top, but I just haven't really worried about it. But, uh, Anyway, there you go. Polyester flag is the way to go, especially if you live in a windy area. So, uh, you know, there's advantages to both of them. Not, the nylon flags do look a little better, especially when they're new. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the polyester, and I think I'm going to stick with it. If you got questions about this particular flag or the materials they're made of, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you later.